Let's start with your player. So obviously something really traumatic just happened and um, shocking to say the least. Um, kind of what, what did you tell her uh, to try to help her like move past this and possibly use this as kind of like a springboard into uh, a different frame of mind or thought? What did you, what did you tell her in that moment? Um, it was a moment of like, first I was, my jaw hit the floor and I was like, I almost said her name. Um, and I was like, listen, I, I feel like I'm very honest just with everything that comes out of my mouth. I really try to be um, when it comes with being transparent with players and parents about where I see them, what level they're at, where I see possibly they could be in the future. Um, and I was like, listen, you have gotten so much better in the last three to four months. It shows on the radar gun. It shows in your, like, the way you come in here and you work. And she's hard because I always use the example of Violet from The Incredibles. It's hard to break down her walls. She's just all the time. Um, and but she knows that that's just her personality so like breaking down those walls of get really getting to know her we've worked really really hard too um and so then it was me just trying to be as honest as i can with her development and where i see that she's been and i said i don't believe that that is true if i thought that that was true i would tell you but i do not think that was true and the other part was is at the end of the day you're going to end up where you need to be and you never want to play or play for a team where you don't feel wanted, you don't feel accepted, you don't feel like you belong. And at the end of the day, like, he made that very easy for you because clearly you weren't loved and that wasn't the place that you were supposed to be. You didn't feel wanted. You weren't wanted. And there's going to be a home for there where you do feel wanted. And that was just my initial speech that I gave her. Mm -hmm. And then we with our lesson and I mean I asked if I could do anything and it just kind of went on from there and she was going to a couple more tryouts so I'll see her this week um, and get to talk to her about an update but I was just like what just happened yeah. to you? Yeah that's, uh, that's really uh, just great advice and I think it's important to um, really kind of uh, separate yourself in those moments because I can only imagine like rejection in any form is just like the worst and it's like a pit of your stomach like unworthiness that you could potentially feel like in those moments but I know for for me to kind of add on to what you're saying is uh don't let anybody um devalue you in any sense uh in any sense of the way um, of, of your life yeah like, totally. if you're not wanted in any circumstance of your life like then that's just not where you should be like in a relationship in a family in a working environment in a team like any of those situations if you don't feel like you belong or that you're wanted or that you're special and cared about then it's time to go, you know? Yeah, totally. And then, oh, I, I lost my train of thought. I was going to say something. Oh, and I, I've i been cut, and I've been rejected, and I was told from a very young age that I was never going to be a pitcher, and that just wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so I like to remind, I think, that the players that I coach and stuff, I, they don't see that part. They've only seen me play on TV, so they yeah. don't know yeah. With the, and like I was cut from so many teams telling me that this yeah. you know, and I wasn't wanted as a pitcher mm -hmm. so I was like I'm gonna go somewhere I am and it just it happens to everybody and it's normal um it's normal and it's you know made me who I am today with pitching in general so yeah you can either use that that situation to like dig a hole deeper or you can use it to like fuel your fire and right. I, I know probably when when someone said that you couldn't pitch, you're like, watch me. <laughs> you know, just because you know my personality. I do too. know your personality. Yeah. <laughs> like you wouldn't say anything. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah. 
just gonna go. <laughs> Pearl.